All right, the x has been around since 2020. It's flown, it's cruised, it's looked cool, it's certainly crashed, but it's never had a real mission. It's very cool. Until now. I was browsing the interwebs and found this little gem. A 3D printed whistling bomb. Naturally, I had to remake it. And it actually works. Files are available free on my Patreon and don't forget to smash that like button. You know what to do. We tested it from 500 feet with the Air 3S and it sounded like a freight train barreling through the park. Huh? After a few tweaks, I made a drop mount that fits perfectly into the x existing slots. It's clean, it's sleek, and it's deadly. The rubber ducks. One servo controls the drop mechanism for both bombs. With some tweaking, you could probably get individual control, but I will be dropping them all at once for a very specific reason. You see, the cap of the bomb screws off and has a cavity for a little smoke bomb I found at my local grocery store. Gotta love the US of A. They're $2 for a pack of eight, which is an absolute deal. But then of course, how are you supposed to light it midair? So this is where JLC PCB comes in. I need some custom circuitry that will provide a short burst of power to ignite an e-match from a PWM signal or uh, the, you know, the servo signal. So when I flip a switch on my transmitter, it triggers a switch on board and completes the circuit igniting an e-match. And an e-match is something you use typically for like firing model rocket engines. I designed this absolutely beautiful PCB to do exactly that and more. This PCB was designed on Easy EDA Pro right online and was delivered to my doorstep in days. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten to a version that has full functionality yet, but speaking of functionality, another set of boards I got from JLC PCB include a wingtip lighting board, a landing light array, and all of these are rocking one to three watt LEDs. These red dip switches would allow the user to swap the output between servo control and payload ignition control. So thank you JLC PCB for sponsoring all this madness. So right now, all I got working is the LEDs, but I did find a way around the ignition problem. I found this RC remote switch thing from Amazon, links down below, and this acts exactly like what I need. So I got everything installed in the airplane and it's flight fest time. The family rented an RV and we went to flight fest the largest RC flying event in the States, maybe? Certainly the biggest one I've ever been to. And also the only one, but that doesn't matter. If you've never been to Flight Fest, I highly recommend it, especially if you have kiddos. I literally have not met nicer people in my life. I had real conversations with 12 year olds. I think the most memorable quote was when one kid's cousin looked at my daughter, turned to my wife and said, I see so much of her in you. I was like, sir, are you, are you Benjamin Button? I was most amazed by the people that we met, but the airplanes were also out of this world. So I highly recommend booking your calendar as soon as it's announced for next year because yours truly will be attending once again. And this time, I'm not going so incognito if you catch my drift. So anyways, this bomb thing obviously is raising a lot of eyebrows. People keep asking things like, who's your target audience? This can hurt someone. All these boring questions, which are all totally valid. This bomb weighs about 100 grams and dropping it from just like 200 feet can be lethal if it lands on someone's, someone's head. Do not try this at home. We're what you call experts. We're what you call idiots. And as for my target audience, yeah, yeah, I got one of those. You ever seen a grown man driving these jacked up Jeeps and they got it all these little duckies sitting on the dash? Everyone's like, oh, it's so cute. That was purple. Oh, they've infiltrated my house. They're everywhere. Families have moved in. Listen, I was home alone one day and I heard a noise upstairs. So I went to go check it out, you know, whatever. My 3D printer's always causing earthquakes and whatnot, but it came from my daughter's room. And I'm like, okay, yeah, this was weird. I opened the door and you won't believe what I saw. My daughter lives here for God's sakes. But anyways, yeah, I got a target audience, all right.
That guy hasn't subscribed yet. That guy right there. Okay, listen up, crew. The ducks like to be positioned here every morning and annoy the hell out of all those fishermen. This is when they're most vulnerable and our window to attack. Jello. Position yourself here in our mobile marine command station. Keep an eye on the targets and report back any and all movements on COM3. Aye, aye, Captain. Use the airboat to keep them in a circle in the middle of the lake. If things get nasty, take out the rescue boat. Go fishing later. I don't know. Lola! Lola, where the hell? You post yourself on the shore and distract them with your bows. Give them a good show, Lola. We're all counting on you. I'm gonna take off and loop up to 700 feet so they can't catch us on radar. Then I'll gather the comms and penetrate through the southern valley. That's what she said. <laughs> 200 rubber duckies. Now, obviously, we're not gonna leave the rubber duckies just floating out here in the lake. That would be littering. Um, so we need to have a, a little raft or something to go get them. As much as I would love to recover them with the RC boat, there's just no way to get it on the boat and round up 200 of these, that would take all day. So we just got a boat, uh, a little raft, and we're gonna go pick them up when we're done. Here is our camera boat. And now it's time to put the ducks in the water. Here goes nothing. It doesn't stand up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's get a move on. Oh wow. <laughs> Goodbye, Tox. Any last words? See ya! Testing the flaps. That's the new system. With the Hall Effect sensors, they work much better. Both the gear and flap have Hall Effect sensors now. I'll be uploading the files for that soon on Patreon. Also, speaking of Patreon, thank you so much to all my Patreon supporters. We have filled up the bottom side of the cart and we are also flying a new airplane. So let's take this off and let's get it. BX Hawk up there. And those aren't real numbers. I honestly just didn't want to leave it empty like I did the Ranger because it doesn't look great. So that looks cool, but probably not accurate. I mean, the batteries are, right? But I really like this, uh, this piece there. Okay, we got a problem. Yeah, what's going on? All the ducks have now reached just that end of that pond. Okay. Turns out, waterproofing your receiver on an RC boat is kind of an important step you don't want to miss. The boat started spazzing out and eventually all the ducks and the boat just drifted off to shore. But we made it this far and we weren't giving up, so we decided to continue. Go right ahead and hit 
throttle. Oh no, watch out guys. We're coming down. It didn't end up very well. I, you know, when I lost control, I hit the bombs. I, I lit them and I pushed the buttons to see if at least we can get it to, to smoke and fire. I, I feel like one may have fired, but overall, this was a pretty big fail. So we're on our way to pick up the ducks, but we're not giving up just yet. I got a little trick up my sleeve. We're gonna see some bombs drop on some ducks. So if you're building the X-Hawk, use caution. I believe the culprit of the crash is the motor mount melted. So yeah, might wanna stick a piece of wood in between the plastic and the motor there. Um, the duckies in the swamp. <sighs> Let's talk about what happened. I'm pretty sure this all stemmed from the motor mount melting. The motor chopped up the rudder vader and then it went inverted and then it just kind of was a matter of time before disaster. I went around like four times, you know, I checked mission planner i asked i googled altitudes are in meters always regardless of what you have on your osd you know so i put 213 meters at least i thought it was meters on the flight plan and i hit auto and the thing goes from 700 feet to 200 feet i'm like oh no and we're about to come in for the bombing run and i said okay abort abort i aborted i took manual control we went back up again, and then I was just gonna do it manually, you know? We, I tried uploading the, the, the flight plan, it wasn't working for some reason. I was just gonna fly manually and just hit the buttons. And as I'm doing that, you know, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get into position, I passed it, I wanted to go again. I think I went around maybe three times, and then on that third time, that motor mount gave up, and it came down in the field. What a shame. I think it flew pretty darn good. It, it flew pretty darn well. Um, the little bit that I flew it, I was able to control it very well. FPV, it was amazing, even in that screen, you know. So I think it was a good plane to build, and uh, I'm probably going to be building it again.
for like the fifth time maybe six I don't know we're gonna give it a shot again and mark my words this is not over Thanks to Jello for this idea of hanging the bombs the way they are ha hanging. Hopefully it'll work. Right. Three, two, one. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain, he hasn't subscribed either.